BC6 on your side now as a community pushes for change after a racist incident. We're going to push for probably more than's comfortable. You know, visibility isn't always easy for a group like that. Um, but I think we'll get there. Groups in Bexley holding city leaders accountable after a racist incident at the middle school. People say that the issues with discrimination in Bexley aren't new. And they're frustrated with what they say is a lack of action by city officials. Tonight, Kate Seifert speaks with the people who are working to create a better line of communication between Bexley citizens and their leaders. Kate. Bob Station, the people I met with today are the representatives for the city's diversity, equity, and inclusion team. Their job, they tell me, is to hold city leaders accountable when community concerns come up. And although they say progress has been made over the last several years, they are pushing for much more. Ten years ago, uh, these were invisible issues. Issues that are now under a spotlight. If you do fall into a marginalized group, I think that the answer to that question is yes. There is a vibe that things are off. Bexley's diversity, equity, and inclusion representatives helping bridge the gap. First, we try to bring people together who are impacted and concerned and try to make a space for people to talk together. But the community wants to see that discussion turn into action. The DEI reps say that doesn't always happen quickly. People feel like there's often not a reaction to it. It's certainly a frustration for community members, and it's a frustration working in the advocacy space as well. They're hearing concerns about what's going on inside the schools and what's happening on their city streets. We certainly have heard stories uh, about people that are very cautious driving through Bexley, and even uh, marginalized community members within Bexley can tell you stories about, oh, you can't make these types of moves on this street in this particular area, especially if you're a person of color. We need an honest, open discussion about the data, about what's really happening on the street, and we, we haven't seen enough of that yet. I asked what their response from city leaders is when they present these questions. I think the response varies quite a bit. With the new superintendent uh, in the school system, He's been extremely open, he's been extremely receptive. The current chief of police, very open, very interested in reform. The mayor has a very strong open door policy. He's definitely there to listen, but he's not always in a position to act as quickly as some community members would like to see him act. White students. But with continued conversation, Bexley's DEI hopes their city can set an example for other places battling the issue of racism. Bexley can be a beacon. Bexley can be an example. So we're hopeful, but I think we've got a long ways to go. Like we told you last night, this is a story that we are going to continue to follow. I am set to sit down with the city's mayor and chief of police tomorrow morning. We're going to take a deeper dive in the city's police reports, as well as talk about their efforts to continue to have those conversations with community members to address their concerns about racism here in the city of Bexley. Live on your side in Bexley, I'm Kate Seifert, ABC6 News. Kate, thank you. To see Kate's previous stories on the issues, go to the ABC6 app. It is free to download.